Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. Today we are going to learn about the drag and drop. So how to do drag and drop. So basically these are part of your advanced user interactions. We have to use the actions and then we have to perform the drag and drop. For example, I can just click on this particular element and I can drop over this. Now here we are getting this text as dropped. So these are known as advanced user interactions and we are going to perform this drag and drop in this video so in my editor already i have written this describes and these are known as actions in selenium it's going to be exactly same in terms of protector as well and before all we are just loading this url and after all we are sleeping i mean we are waiting for the browser to close after a five seconds so because we know that once the test case is going to execute completely it's going to automatically close the browser so we are just adding uh, sleep for 5 seconds so that we can see the output so first thing first we are going to identify both the elements so just let me refresh it and open up my inspect view and here we can see that we have id of draggable so i'm just going to copy this guy and here we'll say let uh, maybe i can name this as source and then i can say element by dot id and within that i'm going to pass the value and then we are going to inspect this one so this is going to be our target element so let target then followed by equal to element by dot id and then droppable right that's it so we are pretty much good and then we are going to call the actions so for that i'm going to use this await and await means of course the function should be async and here we'll say browser dot actions and from the actions we have direct method called drag and drop so i can use that and drag and drop actions basically needs two arguments so one is the element of source and the, and the element of the uh, target target element so basically it needs two argument so I'm just going to pass the source and then followed by the target and make sure that whenever we are going to perform this actions, we have to call the function called dot perform. So if we, if I don't call this perform, then this particular piece of code will execute, but we cannot see anything happening over the browser. So if I try to run this now, it is not going to work actually. Let me tell you the reason as well. Let's see that first. Okay, so here we have this um, error because we are using this await, but we didn't say the async keyword. So let me just add this, but this is not the ex exception I'm talking about. It's different. So let me just rerun it again. And you see that the browser loads successfully and the element is there everything is there but still it couldn't do the perform actions drag and drop it couldn't perform the reason is if i mouse around this drag and drop here you can see that it needs the argument as web element not the element finder so this target element or the source element is going to get the element finder that is one type of data type whereas within this particular drag and drop this needs the web element data type so to get that we have a function called get the element so i'm going to use this and make sure we have to use the await keyword here and same applies here as well so await and then followed by target dot get web element and this is applicable only if you are using this async and await concept uh, if you are using this then and the catch type of code probably you don't need this so without web element also we can do but if we are going to use this async and await which we are following in our all the tutorials so of course we have to write our code in this particular method and please never ever mix up the async and await with the then that will bring lots of problem 
probably if you are using the if condition or the loop within the script then you will face it definitely so here you can see that the drag and drop happened very quickly the reason is now we have resolved the promises and also we have sent our argument type as a web element so if i mouse on this here you can see it's going to return as the web element of promise of course but you may think that okay if i just add the await keyword without this web element then also it's going to work fine because we are um, awaiting for the element to resolve the promises that is not the case actually so if i try to run this rerun this again So here, here you can see that the drag and drop is actually not happening. The reason is whenever we are going to use the async and await and make sure that we are going to pass this await then followed by the get attribute, I mean the get web element or else definitely it will not work. Okay, so just let me quickly recap. So these are advanced user interactions. So we cannot directly do like click cause and case anything like that. So we are going to use this browser.actions and then we are saying this direct function called drag and drop where we have to pass two arguments first one is the source the source element which you want to move and this is the target element second argument where we want to put our the first element and then we have to call this perform and just in case if i comment this and if i try to run this now let's see what happens of course it's not going to work because by default the actions class works based on the perform so it's like a chaining of actions where until we call the perform it's not going to work for sure not only for protector it's applicable for selenium as well so that's it guys from my side hope you have liked this video if so just give a thumbs up and share the video so that it can reach to everyone and most of the tutorial are not with async and await so that's the reason i started this playlist with async and await so i'm not focusing on the then and catch but just in case if you have, if you are going to continue with the then and catch, then probably you can ask me, maybe I can just upload the code in the GitHub. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon.